Hey everybody, Better for the Bonnet Podcast, and it has finally arrived. We've seen the Chaos Dwarf team previewed, we've seen all the star players previewed, and now on the Sunday preview article, Chaos Dwarfs are going to be coming next week. It's Chorfin time. Minotaurus. Okay, so over on the Warcom article for today, Sunday preview, a little something for everyone. And that's actually pretty much the case. There's a bunch of cool stuff on here. Uh, we got some old world chaos continuing. Uh, I never got, I never got enough of these the warhounds. Like I got some back in the day, but I always they were always on my buy list. Always on my buy list. And then we got some more cool Necromunda stuff, more Spiras, more Tyr Tyranid guys. But this is what we're here for: the Zard Nagarund Ziggurats. Here we go. It's the Chaos Dwarf box. We've seen the box already. We know there's going to be 14 players in the box. You've got six hobgoblins two Hobgoblin Stabbers, four Chaos Dwarf Blockers, and two Chaos Dwarf Flamesmiths, the fire-breathing guys. First time we're looking at the tokens, though. Let's have a bit of a zoom, because I like this. Right, I do really like the Hobgoblin models. They've done a really good job here of tying the Dwarves and the Hobgoblins together. Every other, ho every other Chaos Dwarf team, the Hobgoblins feel kind of separate to the Chaos Dwarfs, um, but I think they've done a really good job here of tying them together. The Hobgoblins look brilliant. But yeah, so with the collapse of the NAF, the authority that banned them from the Blood Bowl Leagues, the Chaos Dwarves have returned with a vengeance to bulldoze the gridiron in a storm of fire, fury and irrepressible hatred. As a dark and dangerous counterpart to regular Dwarf teams, Chaos Dwarves embrace the violence and cunning of their murderous patron Hashut and can regularly be found breathing fire, stabbing backs and causing all kind of mayhem on the line of scrimmage. This set of plastic miniatures contains six Hobgoblin linemen, four Chaos Dwarf blockers, two Hobgoblin sneaky stabbers and two Chaos Dwarf flamesmiths along with two double-sided Blood Bowl coins, two turn and reroll markers, four balls, and a Chaos Dwarfs team transfer set. Now, here we go. What we wanted to know is, what does the pitch look like? We'll look at that in a second, but whether these guys were going to be released at the same time. So, some particularly blessed slash cursed Chaos Dwarves are mutated into a form more befitting the father of darkness's whims, forging their sturdy upper halves uh, into the legs of a rampaging bull. Oh, to the legs of a rampaging bull. Teams from across the Darklands embrace these towering brutes with open arms and now enlist as many as they can for their unmatchable blitzing prowess. This pack contains two resin bull centaurs. So the bull centaurs are landing at exactly the same time as the standard team. I'm going to have to buy them, aren't I? I'm actually going to have to buy these. The Chaos Dwarf Games Workshop team is, is, is good. I am a big fan of it. So if I want Chaos Dwarf Bull Centaurs to go alongside, I think I'm going to have to buy them. Okay, that's absolutely fine. Hathark the Unstoppable and Zarg Mad-Eye. So we've seen these star players already. Uh, each of these star players will be sold separately and cool cast in Forge World Resin. Okay, no Backstabber. Okay, interesting. So uh, the two Chaos Dwarf stars, but not the Hobgoblin star is up for that. Right, here we go. This is the first bit of new information here, other than these guys are coming up for pre-order next Saturday. So if they go up for pre-order on the 28th, Trips has assured me these days this is a two-week order window, so this is going to be dropping on the 12th of October. Uh, I will... <laughs> that's, that's fine. That's fine. That's that's mine and Tiff week, week off, but the Saturday will be alright. That means the Thursday we might be able to get our hands on the product early. Oh, we'll see. We will see, won't we? We will see. I should have known. We should have taken a holiday earlier in the year. Right, Chaos Dwarf pitch. Uh, dice. Okay, so the dice, for those of you out there who are big Blood Bowl dice fans, talking about Milton here, uh, a light bronze with a blood red inside. Um, let's do the squint test. Yeah, it might be all right. It might be all right. We'll definitely get them on the stream as well. And the Chaos Dwarf pitch. Now, we saw this in the video, in like the preview video where they show the team off. But not a lot. Just just a good like background pitch. And I tell you what, we've got stones, you've got a grill, you've got flames, you've got Bowser apparent logo, apparently, in the middle. Uh, but that's cool too. So uh, do you know what? I really like the pictures where they have the clear lines. So you've got all the X marks for these squares, but actually because each square is divided by a slither of lava, you this is like the astro granite pitch, but kind of reversed. You've got 
dark stones on a light line, whereas the Astro Granite Pitch is light stones on dark line. So really, really, really like that. So you might have a complete your Chaos Dwarf collection with the usual set of dice team cards and a double-sided pitch with separate dugouts. The dice set contains seven bronze colored dice with red pips, two regular sized. Yep, five, 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 five. And here we go, my personal favorite bit. I love the Spike magazines. The t mm, I love the Spike magazines. The Chaos Dwarf models, especially the Hobgoblins this time around, my, I'm, I'm actually really excited to get my hands on the models. But I do love the Spike magazine. The Games Workshop guys do such a good job putting together really good lore, really fun lore. And that's something that uh, if you've seen the announcement on the channel this weekend, like I want to delve a bit more into because we're going to have a bit more time to do so. So um, Spike 18 is going to be the Chorf one. Uh, maniacal Megalomaniacs. Chaos Dwarf teams take to the gridiron to prove that they are undisputed overlords of the sport. Villainous VIPs. Legendary Chaos Dwarf star players shoot, slash, and stomp their way into the spotlight. Issue 18. Here we go. Uh, all the rules playing a Chaos Dwarf team and their star players can be found in issue 18 of Spike Journal alongside all of your favourite Blood Bowl content from the background lore and histories of famous teams to insightful columns and rules for the new Wastelands League. Yay! Good job, Games Workshop. Okay, um, so the Spikes, they do a really good job of chucking the background, the basics of the team, some, some strategy and stuff like that. But then they do, there's a couple of bits that I really like. So they do four teams. They always do like a four team one pager of four famous teams. And I always find them really inspiring. Um, there's always something that I'm like, I, can, I take away and I'm like, oh, that would be cool to run that team. Or, oh, that'd be, that's cool inspiration, whether it's the name or the color schemes or the deeds of the team. Really like that. But when they introduce extra optional rules, even though I don't get used very often, I still I still love it. So if they've got the Wastelands League special rules, I love the idea of that. We've got the Bono Championship 3 coming up in January. I think we'll have to bust out the Wastelands League rules, depending on what they are. We will have to see what they are. And I wonder if we're going to get any cool... Um, Cool inducements for the Chaos Dwarf team there as well. Also, there's some Warcry dudes. There's some more Warcry dudes with the Action Man villains. No, sorry. That's disrespectful. The He-Man villain skeleton people. Um, is that disrespectful? Yeah, I love Skeletor. <laughs> right, above and beyond, we've got some books and pieces here from Games Workshop. Anything. Trips has got really good at this. He will go straight down to the bottom of the article and see... If there's some sneaky bits here at Warhammer Community, there's a big change coming this week that we can't wait to unveil. Oh, interesting. As well as more from the Chaos Dwarf Blood Bowl team and the return of oh, Heresy Thursday. Okay. More from the Chaos Dwarf Blood Bowl team. So are they going to drop the stats and whatnot for Chaos Dwarfs this week? We've got the semi-final tomorrow night for the Bono Championship. Then we've got the final the following week. Then I'm off. We, Tiff and I, it's our anniversary week, so we're taking that week off, uh, even from Monday Night Blood Bowl. Um, we might, it, depending, it depends how much they drop, okay? It depends how much they drop of the Chaos Dwarf stuff. If the spike isn't... No, because Guerrilla Miniatures Games and whatnot will have access to the spike this coming Saturday. So if the article spoils the costs and skills for all the players we'll see what we can do. I don't think we'd likely to be able to get a Chaos Dwarf game on the channel this week. Uh, I'm at a come out for work a couple of days at a couple of conferences. But next week, which is the final of the Bona Championship, I'm going to see if maybe Ben is free one other night or something, and we can get a Chaos Dwarf game filmed if they... Oh, I wonder if he's doing it at the weekend. I wonder if we can get a Saturday or Sunday game filmed, assuming that we can do, that we can get all the stats from uh, Guerrilla Miniatures Games or something. Because Games Workshop still won't send us stuff. Please send us stuff, Games Workshop, because it would make things so much easier for us to do good Blood Bowl content, I, I think, anyway. But that's the dream. So, guys and girls and folks and goblins, we are... Oh, I like that. Guys, girls and goblins. Yeah, I thought it was very inclusive. Uh, we have got the Spike 18 coming up. So, Chorfs will be dropping soon. Great time for me to plug in Toyment. If you're going to go third party and you don't have a friendly local gaming store to support, I wholeheartedly recommend our friends at Entoyment in Pool. Uh, it's where we host our tournaments and they are just fantastic people. But we have got a very, very cool upgrade, I think, to a, a, a very important Blood Bowl team. And I cannot wait to see the rules 
not the rules, not even the rules. The rules are the rules, right? It's the cost of the roster. It's the roster build. Because we need to know a couple of things. We need to know how much these players are going to be and <laughs> whether they've kept block on everybody. That's going to be absolutely massive. But for now, I'm going to go watch Red Zone. Thank you very much for watching. We'll be back soon with more Blubber content. Happy blocking. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate your support. If you want to support the channel even further, please like and subscribe. It really does help us out. Or come join us on YouTube members or in Patreon, where you can get exclusive access to some content, some loot, early access to basically everything we do, as well as regular competitions. Or you can pick up some Bonehead Podcast loot either on our website at boneheadpodcast.com. We've got the Dungeon Bowl things. We've got tokens and stuff like that. Or on our Spreadshirt site as well. Everything you do just helps us make more content and hopefully do it of better quality. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Happy blocking.